I am Darth Malgus. I speak with the full power of the Sith Empire, and I am in command now. It was a surprise for many people to see the return of Darth Malgus, which happened a few years ago now, but the question of how he survived has been something that is still asked by people today. I have the answer. The story of Malgus' rise and fall is well known. If you're lacking on the details, be sure to watch my Darth Malgus Explained video, which goes into great depth with his character and origins. To do a quick recap, after the alleged defeat of the Sith Emperor by the hands of the Jedi Knights, whispers and rumours made their way through the Empire, which inspired a few powerful individuals to seize power within the Empire. Darth Malgus was one of these people. He used his ascension to the Dark Council as a means to acquire Adegan crystals from Ilum, which his top scientist would be using to bolster their armada with superior weapons and defensive capabilities. Malgus staged a coup and declared himself the new Emperor. Welcome to my throne room. So much history. So many glory days that slipped away from us. The Emperor is dead. Long live the new Emperor. Stating that the old empire had become weak from lofty ideals of self-righteousness, Malgus believed power belonged to those who were unafraid to take it. He chose to be that person and lead a new empire that would destroy the Republic. However, it was not to be. A formidable strike team was created to confront Malgus. I respect your perseverance, Malgus, but not your claim to power. You're not as foolish as you look. The empire is withering away. Soon it will be obliterated by decadence and antiquated ideals. Malgus sets the fortress they stand within to self-destruct, giving him limited time to defeat his opponents and escape. But the strike team overpowers him and a grenade is used to launch him off the edge of the platform, leading to what we believed to be his death. If the fall did not kill him, then the station's destruction certainly would have done after the fact. That is how the story unfolded and many years later, Darth Malgus returns to the galaxy under the control of the Empire, seemingly forced to serve and submit. No! I impossible! You died! Darth Asina, aka the new Empress of the Sith, had used cybernetic augments to force loyalty, along with some kind of mind manipulation through the use of the Force. In the end, Malgus breaks these chains and walks free of the Empire, despite the fact he gets arrested pretty quickly and spends almost three years in a chair, but back to the point here, how did Malgus survive the explosion and fall during the confrontation? The answer comes from a codex entry in Star Wars The Old Republic that seemingly went under many people's radar, even my own for a long time. But the reason he survived is because Darth Asina herself salvaged his body from the wreckage and then spent years experimenting on him to make him the perfect obedient warrior. If you recall, during the False Emperor Flashpoint, Malgus says this. One of you has vowed to join the new empire, but which one? I'm certainly not telling. At first, we can put this down to Malgus trying to plant a seed of doubt for the strike team that hunts him. However, it can now be theorized that Darth Asina actually allied herself with Malgus during his coup and planted herself in a position of advantage when he was defeated. Darth Asina was the traitor who he spoke of, but it's more likely she was just using Malgus for herself. This story takes a gruesome turn here, because knowing that Malgus was alive all along changes a few going theories that we have. When the Eternal Empire attacked the galaxy, many, and I mean many, of the former Dark Council went missing. Their absence meant that Asina could rise as Empress unchallenged. The Codex entry reveals that Darth Asina potentially used Darth Malgus to hunt down all members of the Dark Council and kill them. Valron was smart enough not to challenge this weapon, and therefore, that's the reason he did not immediately become the Emperor. Knowing this small detail adds a lot of context for these few years in the game. 
It was Darth Asena that saved Malgus from death, and it was Malgus who killed the missing Dark Council members. The pieces all fall together quite nicely. At the time when Asena rescued Malgus, she was a Dark Council member herself and was in fact the head of Sphere of Technology, meaning she had the resources to create the loyalty augment she needed to indoctrinate Malgus. So now you know how Malgus survived and why some of the Dark Council went missing. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all my channel members for your support. We have a members early video on the channel right now called The Most Powerful in Star Wars The Old Republic. Become a member to check out videos like that one early on the channel. As always everyone, thanks for watching and may the force be with you.